Hello, kindergarten. So welcome to our first virtual video. Yeah, I'm sorry, we're not going to be doing Zoom meetings anymore. And that really stinks for me because I want to be able to see what you're doing. I want to be able to help you. But this is the format we're going to be going to from here on out. Now, for this project, this is what you're going to be needing. You will need two sheets of paper, uh, different colors. One will be for your background, for like a sky color, and the other one is going to be going to be for your tree. A lot of you are going to want to use brown. I like to use black. And here in Austin, there are a lot of d very dark trees. And so you'll also need some glue. Now, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write my name on this paper. I don't care what you use your, to write your name. You can use a marker, pen, crayon, whatever. I'm just going to write Mr. De La Garza, Mr. DLG. There we go. And I'm going to move this over because I'm not going to use it right now. Then I've got this paper that I'm going to use for my tree. Now you don't have to use the whole paper, we're only going to use half of it. So if I were you, I would probably fold it in half and then just cut it with scissors like I've already done here. So this is already cut in half, I'm ready to go. Let me move this over here to the side. And this is the one I'm going to use. Now, I want you to remember, even though I cut it in half, you're not going to tear this long way. This paper when we started was this big. That means the long way is actually coming down. It's actually coming down. So we're going to start ripping this to make a bunch of little uh, strips of paper. Now, for a tree, we're going to need to make three parts. We're going to need to make the trunk, the branches, and the roots. Now, the first thing I'm going to make is going to be the uh, trunk. The trunk is going to be a very thick line. Thick means not skinny. It means very thick thick, very chunky or fat. So right here, I'm going to not start here. I don't want a very thin line. I want a thick line over here. And I'm going to start tearing all the way down because I'm going with the grain. I should have a nice little line right there and it looks a little rough. That's what I want. If you want it to be rougher on the other side, if you don't want a straight line, you can also tear it here. You just want one nice thick trunk. If you like this, great. If you want to make it a little smaller, that's fine. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. You can do however you like, but that's going to be the trunk of my tree. So next, I'm going to make my branches. My branches are going to be long, not short. They're going to be very long, and they're going to be thin. So over here, I'm going to make a bunch of small, thin little lines, and those are going to start to be my little branches here. So I'll make as many as I want. If you want to be especially fancy, you don't have to make just big branches, you could actually make some smaller branches. I could cut this out and tear it into little pieces and make small branches over here. That's fine. And then lastly, we need roots. Now to make roots, I'm going to have thin lines again, very, very thin little lines like this, but they're not going to be long. Most roots are very long, but most roots are also very far and very deep into the ground. So you can only see a little bit of them. So I will see just a little bitty root, little bitty root, and a little bitty root. So those are all the parts of my tree, a trunk, the branches, and the roots. Now I want to put all of that on my background paper. So I'm going to start by putting in my trunk. My trunk is going to go here near the bottom. Then I'm going to put my branches up here. You can make as many as you'd like to. Try to make the branches not go outside. I want to keep them in here. If they go outside, that's okay. But usually I like to make sure that they're in here so I can glue them down a little better. And then finally, I'm going to put my little roots down here. There we go. So my tree is pretty well put together. Now I'm going to use my glue to start putting this down. Now, to glue this, remember the two methods that we had. The first method was dot, dot. So maybe I'll start with dot, 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 and then I'll glue it down. You'll see a lot of these papers really want to come up. So you really have to push them down for five seconds to make sure they actually stay down. You don't want them to come up or anything. I'll take this one and I'll do dot, dot. And I'm not going to make you watch all of this. I'll just show you the other way. This right here is my scratch sheet of paper. I haven't used this yet. So if I want to, I could always put a lot of glue in there and then just use my finger right here to do the dot, dot method. This is going to be a little bit faster, but it's not necessarily better. Either way is okay. doesn't really matter to me. Whatever you're the most comfortable with, you're going to get a little bit messy. And that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish the whole thing off. Okay, and so now you can see that I've glued everything down. You'll see it's all attached. I can pick it up and it's not going to go anywhere. Now, 
I have a little bit of glue that's sticking out here. If that happens, I would just let it dry. Uh, really, you don't want to rub it too much, even if you want to clean it. it it sometimes smears and you sometimes get some smudges out here. So just leave it alone. So this is done. I have a tree that has a trunk that is thick. I have branches that are thin and long, and I have roots that are thin and short. So now we know the difference between thick, thin, long, and short, and we have a nice tree. Keep this for our next project. When we go ahead and look at the video on Friday, you're going to see how we're going to make leaves and how we're going to make the ground. That's it. I hope you guys do a good job and please remember to hold on to your artwork.